Okay. Hey guys. So today I have something very fun and very special planned. And that is the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. Now I have actually opened it just to make sure it arrives safe and sound, but I have not swatched anything. This is all new to me. We are gonna go over it together on camera. So first, the back says, introducing the Huda Beauty New Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Huda's fresh take on the nude look. 18 gorgeous shades ranging from cool to warm tones, including 10 buttery mattes, Ugh, oh, 10, that blend seamlessly with your skin. Four reflective eyeshadows that Four reflective eyeshadows with a versatile pearly to iridescent finish. Two pressed glitters for an opulent touch. One pressed pearl for a velvety shine. And one concealer base to make your shadows pop. From a minimalist I woke up like this look to a show-stopping iridescent lid, this eyeshadow palette is your new must-have to enhance your beauty on any occasion. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm really excited. Okay, so let's open it. So excited. Okay, so this is the packaging. And it says the same stuff on the back that I just read. And it has, I'm not going to show you all the actual mirror because these are our shades. We are going to do a look with them. And I kind of want to use the mirror to see how the mirror works out. So let's go ahead and do that. So right off the bat, there's not a lot of fallout or kickback, which is nice. And this is really a nice muted light pink shade, which I am living for. I was kind of nervous about this palette, I'm not gonna lie. Because, I mean, you've seen my looks, I don't do a lot of nude looks. But then I saw these interesting glitters and I was like, oh, oh no, oh, I, I have to try it. So I entered a raffle on a BoxyCharm Facebook group. Now y'all keep in mind, I never win anything, like ever. I never win contests, I never win raffles. Like I just, it's not my thing. I don't win them. I'm not upset by it, but I just don't win them. So I entered and my name was drawn and I was like, oh my God. So I got it for like, I got the palette itself for like 20 bucks. So I am very excited to play in this and see the different kind of looks we can create. I have a feeling this is gonna be my new go-to only because the shades feel so good and they're such, for it being a nude palette, there's such a variety. Like you have your purples, you have your pinks, you have some browns, you got glitter. There's even a concealer, like come on. And this, I will be honest, this is the first thing I have ever tried by Huda Beauty. And it's pigmented, it blends well, it feels good, it feels good. Like, as of this very moment, I have no complaints. So, we went in with play. Let's go in with, do you want to do like, let's go with a pinky. I never really do pinky looks, let's go with a pinky look. So, let's go in with tickle. That one did have a little bit more kickback than play. Oh, but the pigment. I can deal with some kickback with this pigment, y'all. I'm still using that same brush, by the way, guys. I have not switched brushes. These shades are so freaking pigmented. 
like I'm very lightly and I haven't even all right now we're gonna take that same shade let's go into spanked the next like darkest pinkyish shade there is and let's just pop that on our outer corner a blending spanked and I think I'm actually gonna dip into one of the darker purples maybe to add just a little more like, definition and whatnot to this outer corner I'll take a number six brush from the BH cosmetics rose collection and I'm going to go into tease. That's like a purpley brownie color. And I'm going to put that, yes, perfect, right in front of Spanked. I'm going to take my number five brush from the Rose Gold Collection and I'm just going to blend that into Spanked so that we have no harsh lines. All right. Now, before we go into the concealer and the ever so fun pressed glitters, I do want to go ahead and do my lower lash line. So I'm going to go into lace first. And I'm just going to pop. Ooh, that is a very pretty color. Like, like the perfect pale purple. And I'm sure you all have seen. I, I will play in reds. I would play in purples, I would play in blues and greens, but very rarely do I reach for a pink. And it actually wasn't until the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette where I was like, ooh, I need some pinks in my life. And then Huda Beauty came out with this. And at first I wasn't gonna get, like at first I was like, eh, eh. It's not a whole bunch of shades I'll actually use. And now I'm like, oh. I'm never gonna put this down. Okay, so let's go into Love Bite. Still using our number 10 brush from the Rose Gold Collection and kind of darken this up a little bit. That is very, very pretty. I'm gonna take a number eight brush from the Rosé Collection. I'm gonna dip into this concealer here and see what that is all about. And I do want, I wanna play in a pressed glitter and also one of those weird, chunky looking shades. Like I've never seen shades like that. And maybe the velvet one. I don't know if I'm going to do the velvet one yet. Or the pressed pearl, whatever she called it. But. I definitely. Okay, so that concealer does not feel greasy at all. It feels really good. I'm going to go into Daydream. And I'm going to put that. Huh. Maybe this is one of those you have to put on with your finger. Okay, so when you put it on with a brush, nothing really happens. But when you put it on with your finger and tap it in, it is breathtaking. Okay.
And maybe that's what the brushes are for. I don't know. I don't have them. I know that this, y'all, this is pretty. Okay. So I do want to dip, in, dip into, let's go ahead and go into Kinky. We'll take a number nine brush and we will put Kinky right on the outer corner portion of Daydream. Let's, let's go into Crave, the first chunky weird shade that I'm gonna, I'm falling in love with these. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, so I will say, if anyone watches Tati, Tati got me wanting every single liquid glitter from Stila. And I don't know if Tati has this palette or not, but when she gets it or if she gets it, she needs to get it because she would fall madly in love with this palette. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that number 10 brush, that pencil brush, and I'm going to tickle. And I'm going to very lightly go back and just kind of smooth out these shimmer lines here. Okay. So I have two pressed glitters. We have... Excite and infatuated and I really want to put them somewhere So I think I'm gonna do something I have never done before I'm gonna dip my I'm gonna dip my number eight brush into the concealer Just on the very tip and I'm gonna put this right on my upper crease here and then I'm gonna take a number nine brush. I'm gonna go into Infatuated. And just pack that on where I just didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. But I do kind of like it, okay. We'll just keep going with it. That didn't entirely go how I planned, but I kind of like it. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop some lashes on real quick. I'm debating on eyeliner because I have so much going on on my eyes. I'm probably not going to do eyeliner, but I am going to pop some lashes on and we can see what the look looks like after. Okay, so this is it. This is the final look. Um... I'm having technical difficulties with lashes right now, so that didn't happen. But I did pop on some It Superhero Mascara, popped on a good nude lip, and y'all, I gotta say, who'd have really killed it with this? Like, I, I'm gonna be reaching for this a lot. And for as much shimmer and glitter that I put on my face, there's not a whole bunch of fallout. Like there's not even a whole bunch of my hands. And I was in there with my hands, literally. So I love it. And for me to willingly not put on an eyeliner because I don't wanna take away from the gorgeous shades, that says something.
but I will definitely be reaching for this some more. I am so grateful to have this and I am so excited to see what other looks I can create. But if there is anything you want to see from me, any challenges or looks in particular, let me know down in the comments. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get all of my future videos. We'll see you guys next time.